Uh, welcome to DPV. Uh, Chris and I are working on Ford Nan here, trying to figure out what our no fuel issue is. So uh, he's working his magic, and uh, yeah, we'll uh, see what we come up with here as soon as we find a solution, or we'll at least tell you what we tried. So recap: I've replaced the fuel pump relay, the EC relay, the high pressure pump, fuel filter. We bypassed the uh, inertia switch, that didn't work. And still not getting fuel to the high pressure pump. So the intake pumps are not turning for some reason. And neither one of them are. So I don't see why both of them would go bad at the same time. I guess it's not impossible, but we're hoping it's uh, just shorten the wire somewhere. So we'll figure it out. Cause I heard it do the test, but it didn't. It should come and go beep. All right, so uh, pretty sure we found the, the issue here. The intake pump is bad, and likely both of them. And Chris mentioned something that I didn't really think about, like that rear tank pump could have went bad long ago, and the guy before me was just running it on just the front tank, um, which that makes sense, and then finally the front tank pump went out. But we've got power everywhere we're supposed to. You hear the pump come on. With the key? Yep, you can hear the high pressure pump coming on with the key. Uh, we tried to jerry-rig it with the little micro pump here, um, but our battery's dead, so. We cheated power to the high pressure, to the low pressure pump in the tank, and it didn't get any, any action. Yeah. So then we cheated the low pressure tank with our cheater pump, got power to it. And we're getting pressure at the rail. And we're getting pressure at the rail, so yeah. she should run. And we, uh, we pulled the, you can actually pull the front tank pump out without pulling the bed. Which is amazing. Which is great. And uh, we put power right to the pump and it's not turning on. So pretty easy fix. I'll just replace the front pump for now until we get ready to do that flatbed. And uh, yeah, so to be continued on be, Ford Nan. You're gonna be limited to 20 gallons. Dang it. <laughs> All right, well, had a little bit of time for pull and save open, so uh, picked up the fuel pump. So you can buy the whole fuel pump unit, or you can just buy the pump. So I chose to just buy the pump because it's half as much money. And I know that the sending unit works and everything. So we're gonna swap that guy out, try not to disturb my big chief mess here. And uh, should have, a running truck today. So let's get that swapped out and uh, see how we do. All right, if you're doing this, uh, you wanna get this pickup tube pry it off of the pump before you just yank it off because see I accidentally popped this metal sleeve out of pickup tube and then it was a pain in the butt to get this plastic piece back on. Not impossible but a pain. Now I gotta slip this back in the filter before I put it on the pump. So yeah try to get your screwdriver underneath this metal thing and pry it off the uh, pump before you pull it out of this metal thing here. All right, sweet. Got it all uh, put back together here. So uh, let's go. Put it in the truck. See if we've got a runner. All right. Would you look at that? We got a runner. Got any oil pressure? Yeah. It's charging. Sweet. All right, I'm gonna get this uh, steering column buttoned up and we're gonna go for a drive. It is a good day. All right.
right, well, it's been uh, several weeks since we got old Ford Nan running and uh, lost a bunch of GoPro footage. So I lost that first drive. Um, so I need to uh, take you guys on first drive. This thing drives really good. Um, it's loud because there's no exhaust. Thank you very much, previous owner. Um, but it runs and drives really good. So uh, also it's officially mine. So we need to swap out these plates real quick. And then, uh, yeah, we'll go for a little drive. Um, show you just how good Fortinand does. Now that I said all that, maybe it'll let me down, but we'll see. Gotta fix that uh, goofy situation there. But that's all good. Yeah, Ford Nan. Runs pretty dang good. I'm pretty happy with it. We got some plans for this thing. Sorry about the wind, hopefully it's not too much. But uh, see, I sold the tonneau cover um, that was on here, because you know that really hindered the ability to use this as a truck. But we're not keeping this bed on there. This bed is gonna go by two-wheel trailer. And uh, as you can see, this, all this wood's like so rotted out and uh, I think a truck bed will really uh, upgrade this little trailer here. And then, obviously we've got to replace the bed with something. Well, when I sold that tonneau cover, it gave me enough to get this flatbed. So, um, this flatbed's a little wide, it came off a dually, so we're gonna rip it down the middle probably and uh, narrow it up a bit. Um, but uh, yeah, flatbed Ford in, and then build some racks for it. 
Um, so it can, we can use it to, you know, get firewood. Um, it'll be a recovery vehicle for the DPV ORV park. Um, it'll help out on the Han homestead, you know, doing all the various duties we got to need to do um, around our little hobby farm. Uh, might try to source a plow for it, which uh, would be great um, to plow our, you know, loop driveway here. Um, but for now, uh, gonna get the bed swapped out, which would be great. What else do you think we should do to it? Uh, leave a comment below uh, what you think about Fordnand and uh, what plan do you think we should do to uh, what's going to be the Han Homestead farm truck and the DPV recovery vehicle. Um, if you want to support the channel, we got merch on Teespring, like this uh, original DPV sweatshirt. Um, you can check that out in the description below. Uh, you can shop on Amazon via any of the links in the description. Become a Patreon. It's a per video support system where you can choose different levels on how you want to support the channel. And there are perks at the different levels. And we are going to work on beefing that up in 2022. So stay tuned for that. All right. Wheel it, wreck it, wrench it, repeat. See you next time.